Hello people, and welcome back to another episode of City Skylines Modular Builds. Hope you're having a wonderful day. And uh, it's been a week or so since we've done a modular build. Uh, this is because we obviously said goodbye to Begusia. If you haven't seen the series finale, uh, it premiered on the channel. We had a really good time, thanks to everyone that turned up for it. Uh, it was good to kind of talk to you guys in the live chat as the episode was airing. And um, most people seemed to enjoy it, which is really good, so thank you for... All support in the build guide, it's now finished sadly, and uh, the new kind of main Let's Play tutorial series will be with you towards the end of next week I imagine. And uh, last module to build, we built this wonderful little business park, and again you guys really enjoyed it, thank you for all the support. And uh, yeah, it's a really nice combination of unique buildings and office zoning, alongside a little kind of central lake here, and a uh, unique plaza, and uh, yeah, you guys uh, really enjoyed it, it's a really nice view from here as well. Like, this just looks so special. Really enjoyed it. And um, this week's module build is going to be another viewer request um, for something kind of similar but based on medical and kind of leisure. So, how would we implement today's leisure centre build? So, for example, you may be expanding your kind of 30 by 10 suburban pattern here. You're, uh, you know, you're bored of expanding this suburbia. You're like, oh, you know, I just need to stop doing this pattern, I've hit an edge of a suburb and we need to build something different so that is what we are going to do so I've just kind of taken out a big chunk of this grid you can make this kind of as large or as small as you like it can be wider than this, it can be shallower longer etc depends what kind of space you have to work with uh, on your own map so I'm going to go ahead and grab my two lane road with trees and I'm just going to come out from say this point for example uh, I'm just going to bring it up to here for right now, so the full 30 distance, so, so it's level with uh, the end of my little suburban pattern right here. And then I'm going to switch over to my two lane road with grass. So joining our first road, what we're looking to do is leave a distance of six tiles between the edge of our suburbia and this first road that we're going to place in. So right here is perfect. And I'm just going to draw it up just so it's touching kind of the edge of my suburban uh, tiling that we have on this road here. So you've got a distance of six tiles in here. Right there. Super. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back and grab our two lane road with grass again. And we're going to come onto this road again and we're going to leave two tiles between this road and the main road that we drew in. So about there. So we've spoke about this before, separating your main buildings away from kind of the main road in the area really helps to just add another, another layer of detail. And what we're going to do here is we're going to place in some of our healthcare stuff. So I'm going to go for a child healthcare centre on this corner right here. If you're wondering what the road measurements are that I've gone for, it's 450 by 350. We're going to have our child healthcare centre. Now not only does this kind of go in with the general theme of the build of kind of a leisure and health and well-being center for your suburban area but it's also going to help uh, to boost all the birth rates around your current suburbia so this is definitely a build to be kind of placed within your suburbs then we're going to come into our parks and plazas we're going to grab a regu regular old vanilla park there this small playground is the one that we're looking for and we're going to place this just on the corner here okay oh, we actually want to move that over a tile so we have a depth of two tiles between the park and the child healthcare centre. That's what you're kind of looking to generate here. Then, little detailing tips. So obviously, right now, the kind of the thought process behind this is that the small playground belongs to the child healthcare centre. If you come into your fences, you can use any fence you want. Obviously, if you are playing uh, with and without part life and industries, this will look different for you. And then we're going to come ahead and grab my nature reserve fence. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to snap to my angle. This makes it a lot easier to draw these fences in. We're just going to kind of come around the edge of our small playground and child healthcare centre here. So we'll come down here. And I just want to box these in together. So you kind of come to the end of the road here. Switch to your curve road. Come up and across. It's in there. Switch to your curve again and then hook it around. So what we've done is we've boxed in these two assets together and that really just kind of helps it belong to one another. 
I hope that makes sense. <laughs> so, you know, the kids are at the child healthcare centre. Yes, they have a kind of few little kind of toys and almost like sand pits and swings and stuff in their back. But they also have like a little outdoor main play area across the road. If you want to switch this asset out for something different, go ahead. Um, you could also use, uh, if you have part life, don't forget that you can place your part life assets on the road outside of a park area. So you could totally use this one instead. Kind of up to you which one you really want to use. And then with these spare tiles that we have kind of along the edge of the road, I'm going to go ahead and use some of my nature reserve with decoration paths just to help line kind of the road. And it will just really help add uh, another layer of detail up alongside your main roads here. So already we're kind of looking at something that's a little more interesting. And uh, these will get used as well, even though they're right next to the pavement, Sims will still use these paths because AI loves to pick up the walking paths. So they will still get some use as well, which is nice. So we'll turn all our snapping back on and we'll come ahead and grab our two lane road with grass again. And then from this point where we drew out the, uh, the child healthcare center in the playground, we're gonna come out by a distance of 300. And then we're gonna come across by say 300 for right now. And what we're looking to generate here, you guys know what's coming, it is the old two by two green cities car park trick. I'll explain that in a minute. Let's go ahead and place in the buildings. And um, so on this one right here, we're going to place in our sports hall and gymnasium. He is going to reside right up along there. Again, you can see how it makes everyone happy in the area. So he's not only going to be kind of contributing to the build, uh, but he's also going to be helping to level up uh, your sims and keep them happy, which is what everybody wants. So right now, from your bird's eye view, You'll be having something that looks like that. It's a nice break from that uh, that suburban grid, I think, isn't it? Okay, then we're going to carry on this road just a little bit so we can draw in a road right up alongside the sports hall and gymnasium. And then within this corner over here, we are going to place our community pool. And again, what I'm going to do is leave a one tile space between the road and the asset and this will just help me add in another layer of detail up alongside it. Now rather than just leaving it as green or having it right up against the road, just this little dirt path against the kind of natural fence that comes with um, the community pool asset, I think it just helps, it does help. Okay, so then we'll talk about our green city stuff here. So we've done this a million times on the channel, although there are still some people that don't know about it, so we'll explain it again in case anyone is new. So you want to draw out a district, give it the local and organic produce specialization into your low density zoning, and you want to draw out two by two. There is also another asset in green cities that generates as just a car park. I think it's four by four. Um, however, it's a little big, and it's not something I'm a huge fan of. So if you wanted to right now, you can continue this pattern on the whole way. It really is up to you. Um, I'm just going to do it kind of eight of them here. I think that would be fine for what I want, kind of want from this build. And then I'm going to draw this road out a little bit more and then come down up and alongside the final car park here and then kind of leave it at that. So obviously you're going to get a lot of assets that come in that you don't want. So what you do is just delete them, carry on building and just keep coming back. And then obviously once they're generated, you would come back and fill these ones in as well. And what you'll be left with is a full car park right in front of your sports hall and gymnasium and your community pool as well. So we'll come back and kind of see that in the detail in session as to what that looks like. So now I've kind of come to this point, I can trim off the roads that I don't need anymore. Okay. So kind of from our bird's eye view, this is what we're looking at right now. It's still quite simple and basic, I think, but uh, we will get there and make it look good, I promise. All right, guys, so this is the asset you're looking for. It's the Edison Hypercharger. Once it appears, you make it historical. And you can kind of see the effect here if we take off our UI, kind of how this will begin to look once it's in front of our kind of main uh, buildings here. If you're happy with the parking decal that comes outside of the sports hall and gymnasium, that's fine. You don't have to do this. Like obviously you can't do this if you don't have green cities. 
uh, but you know it really just kind of helps bring it to life super so we've got another one here so once he's in we can now fill in this one in the middle and then we'll look for that same effect so I, I've mentioned it before it doesn't take too long to come in but it can be a process you really just need to kind of keep deleting them as they appear in but you will you will thank yourself for it in the long run I promise so this is what we have looking from the bird's eye view at the moment uh, I've gone ahead and connected this road up right here so kind of the measurements from one road to the other is 1450 and then down here you've got 800 400 and 300 so it's added in another little connection uh, for access to our little healthcare centre over here. Okay, so on this road, so this is kind of sitting directly above the little child playground healthcare centre here. Uh, I'm looking to leave a distance of five tiles between the healthcare uh, between the road we're drawing in and the main tree road. Uh, I would advise that you kind of keep these little side roads or the assets are based on, um, just with the two lane road with grass. Uh, it'll really help give your kind of main street a little more kind of punch and importance uh, just because it's got those trees on it okay then we're going to come ahead and grab our sauna we're going to place the sauna right here leaving space for our path to continue through here so you know make sure you're leaving that tar distance between the main road and then on this side we are going to go for our yoga garden and place this in so sauna and yoga bar garden both super helpful buildings for residentials they're going to level up super fast like i've only just drawn these in and you know they're already flying up to level five so this kind of build combined with um something like the business part nearby oh this one's going a little tall that's uh looks like he wasn't made historical <laughs> uh you know so it's not only a functional build but it's going to be super helpful for uh leveling up your residentials as well so again, we'll carry on with our little kind of nature reserve decoration here as well. If you don't like the nature reserve path, because I know a lot of people don't, feel free to switch out for any of the others. You could just use the regular pavement if you want. Um, it's kind of really up to you. I just like the way the nature reserve looks. It looks kind of, uh, almost quite zen, I think is the term. Uh, it really helps bring it all together. So within this little corner, we're going to have our yoga garden and uh, sauna tucked in with one another which is going to look great okay so for a bird's eye view this is what we're kind of looking at right now uh, with this big corner right here you can use this as an opportunity to introduce uh, some kind of park life stuff uh, not park life just regular vanilla park so the small park will fit in perfectly here with the measurements that we have uh, which is uh, re really good news and then what we can do from this is if we come into our park uh, paths, grab our gravel, and then we can actually extend the pathways uh, that come out of uh, this particular park area, which is super cool because we can carry, we can expand that pattern, you know. So you can kind of have it coming out here. You can decorate it with the same trees, throwing some of your park life assets here. Like you see, they have like the little ground tiles with the chairs. Uh, do the same thing over here as well and we'll kind of run over that in our detail in session as well um, so we can kind of really see now this little leisure and community um, suburban centre beginning to form with all these little different healthcare assets right um, this is quite an expensive build as well because um, you got 400 a week for the sauna 1600 for the year we garden 240 a week for sports hall so um, it's certainly a build you want to be looking at late game. It's not something you would build straight off the bat because it would cost you a fortune. <laughs> um, but you know, your your level 5 Suburbans that are going to be surrounding this thing are uh, certainly going to help pay for it. Cool. Okay, so now we'll look at kind of heading this thing off. So I've just gone ahead and carried on joining my uh, kind of surrounding suburb here, kind of like we did with the business park. Now, how you want to head this build off is up to you. Um, I'll kind of run through a couple of different options here. We've got another hypercharger in. Yes, we have. Amazing. Thank you. Slowly coming together. <laughs> um, okay, so the buildings we can use, there are a couple. We can either run with the elder care, 
So again, this kind of fits into the low density theme and you're also going to be buffing all the citizens around it and it's a nice way to use a building. There is also the main hospital. This one is probably the least of my kind of favorite options. It's a little too tall to be in this area. And um, yeah, I kind of tend to save these main hospitals, to my higher density stuff. But if you want to have it in here, you can do. Maybe a little bit big. Um, or you could just use kind of the regular medical clinic if you want. But it's a little kind of small for the head building. However, if you are playing with the Japan Content Curator Pack, there is an asset called the General Hospital. Um, it's much more kind of palatable, I guess. It's, an, it's a little smaller. And then it's got these nice parking decals out the front. So this is the one that I'm going to run with. But for this kind of the head, the main building, um, you can use uh, whatever you like for it. Okay, so I'm going to draw out from this point right here. So our main tree road is in the middle. And I'm going to draw out from this one by 250. And then I'm going to draw it across up to this node over here. So there's your bird's eye view. You can kind of see how it's beginning to appear. Then we're going to place in our general hospital. We're going to place this in with a tile either side. It's a really nice kind of building, you know. I mentioned this before, you know, not everything is super centered. And as you're kind of coming up the main road here, you've got a really nice view up to the main hospital front. It's pretty nice. And then I'm also going to draw in a little road uh, right up by the side of it. So draw it out a little bit further. And then you can um, you can either connect this up if you want to, or you can just kind of leave it at a dead end. Nice little U-turn for people. And then what I'm going to do here is we're going to kind of draw it around the back. Let's make kind of um, a third of a box around it if you wanted to. You could totally box it in. Kind of depends what what theme and style you want to go for. Or you could just replace this with a path if you like. Uh, but I'm going to do a bunch of path detailing around here to help bring everything together so whether or not you want to place a cemetery in this space is up to you if you find it a little bit morbid to the point that you know patients might be looking out the window directly down at the cemetery is a little bit kind of almost cruel in a way like you know i'm gonna be there in a couple of hours it, it kind of depends how um <laughs> how kind of bothered you are about that so I'm going to grab my two lane road with trees and then from this point here where we drew out by 250 I'm just going to draw a little ways across and then again it's all about kind of separating our main buildings and then the gap between the suburban road and the hospital road and um, we can line it up kind of perfectly and then you're going to have room for paths around here as well which would be great. And then around the back as well, if you want to, just so you have some processing to clear out the cemetery, uh, maybe switch over to um, to a dirt path. And then around the back, you can run um, some space for your crem crematoriums to help clear the cemetery out when it's full. And we can also kind of box these in and do some detailing. So whether or not you want to include the death care stuff, it's up to you. If you find it a little bit morbid and almost cruel to put it around the hospital, then you don't have to include them and um, you can just head off the hospital as the as the end of the build and then you know you, you're kind of good to go there we got another hypercharger in wonderful oh, two more when does this happen okay guys so this is kind of the main structure of the build i'm gonna go ahead and detail everything up and um, throw in some trees and kind of paths around here uh, to help it blend in a little bit more and uh, draw in some more fences in different locations as well uh, and then we'll kind of come back once we're ready to kind of take a look at the final version. And then I'll also continue to um, apply the suburban grid around this side as well. So you can kind of see how it fits in uh, to that wider uh, suburban atmosphere. So as always, we'll be right back.
All right, guys, that is going to do it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, a like below is always appreciated. Equally as much if you didn't enjoy it, please feel free to leave a dislike as well. Uh, hopefully you can see how this thing functions. It's a really nice way and a different way of using a bunch of the medical buildings that you would otherwise just place on the main road and then carry on building. Uh, it makes a nice little community leisure slash medical centre in the centre of your suburbia. And uh, I don't think it's turned out too badly. Uh, hang around for the rest of the outro Taj and uh, have a look at some of the detailing. You may have noticed in the time lapse that we use some of the part life assets as well, like the cafes and the restrooms. Uh, don't forget to include some of those in this as, in this as well. And uh, the parking lots have all generated uh, outside the community centre now as well. So it really just helps add uh, another layer. Uh, some nice mix and match use of fencing as well to kind of create a little boxed in artificial forest around the hospital looks quite nice I think and uh, yeah it's turned out not too badly the new let's play series will be starting up towards the end of next week I imagine uh, so look out for that I want to thank you all so much for watching and as always enjoy the rest of your day